Now, I normally don't cover Autodesk acquisitions on the channel. It's never really anything of any particular note, but it's getting real over at Autodesk at the moment. Now, this is uh, it's not my field, this, uh, this particular acquisition, but it's so big that because this is an Autodesk-focused channel, that's what I do. It's, it's absolutely noteworthy by a long stretch. And I know a lot of my subscribers are in the construction industry or have an interest in it, and this is absolutely worth uh, a note. So Autodesk have announced the agreement to acquire PlanGrid. Uh, PlanGrid is a construction-focused cloud-hosted platform for sending data through construction projects, allowing people to share drones and manage their data effectively using mobile devices. It's, it's a 2011 startup company, which was Google venture-backed. It had a team of five startup founders who I think they received roughly two-figure millions worth of investment, uh, and they've just sold their company to Autodesk for $875 million in cash. That is Autodesk's biggest ever acquisition by a long stretch. To put that into perspective, to put that sum of money into context, that's more than Autodesk paid to acquire Revit, all of the alias products, which was the Class A Surfacing, Showcase, Maya, and also the mold flow product line combined. I'm not joking. I've been trawling through the Autodesk press release page. They paid $133 million for Revit in 2002. That's $188 million in today's money. $182 million for Alias in 2005 and 297 for mold flow in 2008. Their second biggest acquisition was all the way back in 1998, 20 years ago, where they bought Discrete. Uh, which is the sort of movie special effects studio house uh, flame combustion that kind of stuff for 512 million back in 98 that's 770 million roughly in today's money this is an absolutely massive acquisition and it is a clear indication of autodesk's i guess their commitment and their uh, determination to be at the forefront of one of the biggest industries in the world it's like a 12 trillion dollar market the construction industry uh, and autodesk have got every intention of being the the market leader in that place uh, so, what have Autodesk purchased? Well, I personally don't believe that they've purchased PlanGrid just for the toolkit. Uh, looking through the press release, it appears that they've purchased more than just that. They had their eyes on 120,000 paid users, for example. Uh, that's potentially, I mean, it's a, it's a long stretch. It doesn't ever work out this way, but that's possibly $400 million a year annual recurring revenue in design suite sales potentially but also 12,000 customers of plan grid that's construction sites who've who've been helped in some way by plan grid for example nvidia's headquarters uh, was developed and built with plan grid assisting uh, they've bought the staff 400 employees that's that's a pretty big company uh, especially to grow from from nothing in 2011 to 400 employees today that's that's quite impressive growth and I've no doubt they're extremely talented people so you can go and read the the press release for yourself if you want to it's just been announced uh, and it's such a big deal that Autodesk have had to kind of note the impact it has to their financial planning for the rest of the fiscal year um, most of Autodesk ac acquisitions most of them are so small that they don't have to Put this financial impact in they just say the terms of the disclosure uh, are not disclosed and it, they don't expect it to impact on the uh, the annual report for example fusion 360 that was that started off in 2010 when they acquired t-spline technology from brigham university they didn't announce that it was an insignificant sum of money but that ended up being fusion 360 placitech which was the assembly focused solver simulation solver which ended up being Inventor's current FEA tools uh, when it replaced ANSYS, the single part solver, back in 2009, 2010. Uh, didn't disclose that sum. So Mudbox, for example, again, it's another product that they acquired. Just doesn't register. <laughs> Just didn't register at all on their financial planning. But this is massive. So, yeah, this is a clear statement from Autodesk on their intent for the future. Uh, and the, uh, the the CEO of Plan Grid, it's a young lady called Tracy Young. She's not really said what she's going to do 
uh, whether she'll join Autodesk and sort of lead the internal team. It, I don't know. Uh, cards on the table. I, I wasn't familiar with all of these, you know, the product or the people before this. I'm not in the construction market. This news is just so big. It kind, it, it's noteworthy. But um, it's not clear whether Autodesk will keep the Plan Grid branding or whether they'll rename it to something else. With a product like this, they would probably keep the branding unless they merge the toolkit into the BIM 360 platform, uh, just sort of seamlessly merge it in so it becomes a, an additional tool set rather than a standalone application on its own. I, d I don't know. It's all it's all early days, but it's uh, it's quite big, this news. And we, we kind of should have, well, not necessarily seen it coming, but Autodesk University last week was pretty much 100% BIM-focused construction focused the keynote speech if you go and watch that was all about BIM and construction Andrew and Agnost had Atkins up uh, talking about their Autodesk Forge platform delivering BIM tools across their construction projects so their commitment to the construction market is pretty significant at this point so there you go. Uh, no doubt there'll be people hitting the roof about all the layoffs recently. This always happens when a company spends a large sum of money. When you uh, consider how many people have been laid off over the last couple of years, it, it always st stirs the pot, but obviously it doesn't quite work like that. It doesn't make those people feel any better, but it, yeah, it doesn't quite work like that. This is an investment, really. So there you go. That's absolutely huge news. Autodesk's biggest acquisition ever has just dropped. So I've no doubt we're going to be seeing and hearing a lot from that. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be an absolute wet lettuce, but I'm pretty sure it won't. It seems like these guys know what they're doing. Right, I'm going to knock that on the head there, mate. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, do click like. The thumbs up button is just down there. If you think the opposite, hit that one. And get subscribed if you want to see uh, more stuff on Autodesk and whatnot. To be honest, if you're just passing, you're probably not going to. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Doodles!